and he is Professor Tanvir and he is the CEO of a consulting company and working day and night very hard and it's an honor that he belongs to Okara, that's why we, uh, we invited him here and uh, let's welcome him on the board. Hello sir. Hello. Please welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much uh, for giving us your nice time. Uh, it's a great player. So how would you like to introduce yourself in front of our international community uh, who's, who wants to connect with you and who wants to be like, uh, uh, want to know you exactly. So how would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, first of all, I want to thank you, Mr. Ramendran and uh, his team in the Alcada and uh, uh, about the startup grind in the Alcada chapter. So first of all, as uh, I want to introduce myself about uh, uh, how far I am there in this field. So that I about it's uh, 22 years I am in the field of computer science, and uh, I have the experience in Pakistan and abroad also. So I belong to a, a normal family from uh, Pakistan. I am basically from Kota, and I served uh, in different national and international firms. Uh, and giving them the uh, subsidy uh, relating to finance, consultancy, relating to career counseling, relating to personality development, personality grooming, and uh, about their, their how to overcome their weaknesses and how to achieve uh, their dream job. Good, well done. Uh, so, sir, uh, as we know that this community is especially for entrepreneurs, yeah. especially for startups. So. What do you think that how you can give benefit not only for Okara but also globally uh, in every part and every color of the world? Uh, there are a lot of uh, new talent who yeah, want to be successful. Yeah. So what 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 would you like to say them out? Uh, how they can get benefit from you? Yeah, I discussed earlier. With that I have a vast field of uh, vast experience, hand on experience in working in Pakistan as well as in Gulf countries. And uh, I, I know the uh, everything about when you um, want to have the specific qualification, specific uh, experience, and you want to get a job in the international level and international level. So I can guide you about your personality, about your career, about everything what you have to be in specific where you are going for an interview and how you can search for a better job and how you can apply for a job and uh, how you make preparation of a successful interview and you can get grab a job that is highly paying you and even uh, I have some uh, uh, di different uh, working conditions that you cannot uh, uh, travel abroad and you want to work at home and you want to earn a handsome journey uh, and some money through uh, the social media apps and uh, through YouTube and through Facebook. So I can guide you in every sphere of life and you can uh, get help from me and you can start earning even from your home and if you want to travel abroad or you want to secure a job in the multinational company. So I can help you in uh, drafting your CV and uh, to, uh, to elaborate your qualities. So we have a great problem here in uh, where we are uh, preparing our CV or we are preparing our uh, biodata sheet. So we are missing a lot of uh, things that we have the capabilities, we have the things that we can explain to our prospective employer and we can get a job. So you, you need to know what are your strengths, you need to know what are your weaknesses. So first of all, when you are going to uh, present yourself, so you have to uh, know your price. So you can demand the price, and you can get what you uh, need to be need to have you, and uh, you can present yourself in a good manner. And right, sir, uh, as you know that uh, everyone has a lot of different dreams. Yeah. They want to do something good in their life, and the things which impress them more are the things which impact them more. Yeah. Those are the stories of the successful person. Of 
So today, uh, Startup Brand Platform is giving you an opportunity. Please share your successful story and how it started, how professor can we uh, go through the different situations or something, and did you uh, uh, have faced any kind of difficulties in your life or something in your career in business? So how would you like to uh, tell our viewers your story, your successful story? Yeah, if, if, if you talk about the difficulty, so when you start your journey, you have to face a lot of difficulties. Every phase, when you cross your difficulty, then you uh, get success. So success is not a simple journey. Success means you have to face a lot of hurdles. So in the, uh, I early started in the childhood when I was in six or seven class. So I have to uh, a, a dream that I I will speak in front of the class, in front of audience. And uh, as a debater, I got many prizes at that stage. So I started my journey from that point. I started writing in the different uh, newspapers, different articles I was starting in the writing in that age uh, when I was 10 or 12 years old. So started my journey there. So I belong to a not very uh, rich family and started to a middle class family. So my journey was uh, very painful, very hardship. A uh, lot of hardships I faced, and uh, how I came there, he uh, uh, knows uh, I know, or my God knows better, but what I had faced. So when I completed my education in the building education, I started my first startup. That was in 1999. I started a big college in uh, the Balpur that is still running. I uh, I was the principal of and uh, for the for five years I ran that college and after that uh, I got the government employment in Pakistan. So I was a lecturer in a government college. I got lectureship and that was government job of 10 scale. So I do that job for 10 years. Then I moved to foreign country in Dubai. I was there for about five years in working in multinational companies. I worked in UAE, I worked in uh, Bahrain, I worked in Saudi. I even traveled to Qatar, I, uh, the whole Kuwait uh, as well, I was working there. So that was a multinational company as a finance manager. I worked there, uh, I was looking after the finance of that, about uh, in millions pounds uh, dollars, that was the daily turnover. So I was handling the finance and uh, I was handling the team of about uh, uh, more than 2,000 people that was handled by me. I was giving support to CEO of that company I was uh, and I was handling the banks uh, their uh, overdraft facilities their all the matters related to finance I was handling so that was a tough experience for me and uh, I was guideline guiding the whole of my team and uh, I was looking after the thing so it, it is not an easy task so after that I came back to Pakistan there, then I started my own uh, startup there I started a college there a college here in Ukada, uh, uh, that was also running, and I started a residential setup, a residential school that was basically a boarding school that is also running. And also, in this uh, scenario, I am also running my consultancy firm. I am guiding the young recruits to how they can uh, uh, present their talent in front of the prospective employers, they, how they can get their dream job. So, the aim should be high enough. So uh, uh, I, I think two two percent are not satisfied in this world. One person whose aim is too low and he achieve it. So he's not satisfied. His earning is there, he's making money, but his aim is too low that he can easily achieve it. And after that, he has no he want to achieve something more. Other thing is the other person who are not satisfied in this world, that dream is too high. The dream is too high. Please is absolutely right. You should always dream too high. That is a good thing. But you, if you dream high, you have to struggle high. You have to gather the resources. You have to uh, uh, engage your family. You have to left everything. You left your uh, current status. You have to put everything, whatever you have, money you have, 
you have time, you have family, you have everything, you have to, you should have leave that there. Then you can achieve your high goal. So if you have you dream high, but you do not struggle too much, you do do not do not struggle high, then you will not be satisfied. So uh, I I think two persons are not satisfied in this world. So I am not out of them. I dream high and uh, Alhamdulillah I achieve it. Well done. I, I think that there must be a good clap from the audience because it's an amazing story by Professor Sir, uh, so it's uh, you started from your uh, village and then you, you uh, traveled in different countries and now you are serving in Pakistan and you are consultancy firm. And so what would you like to tell about your consultancy firm and how it works and uh, a little bit about your consultancy firm? Yeah, basically, uh, my consultancy firm name is Passion Consultancy. Passion so I am running it now uh, uh, about uh, three years uh, from now. And uh, in this firm, we are uh, attracting the young people. Uh, we call him for seminars, we call him for the workshops. We uh, give them training about to how to develop their CVs, how to get, get their dream job. We prepare them for the interviews. We work on their personality grooming, their personality development their uh, talents, whatever they have in them, but they don't know. So basically my name is, about the name is passion. So two things are there, passion and profession. Passion is the thing that you love to work. And profession is there, uh, means that you are working, but you are getting money, you are getting everything, but you are not satisfied. You are in the service, not satisfied. So when two things are equal, passion and profession are at the same line, it means you are earning also and you are inner self is also satisfied. So that is basically my theme about its name, passion. So you should know your passion. So as early you know your passion, it means that you are in the real world. That, that I, I, I think that that day you are born. Basically, Imam Ali one person asked him that how old are you? So he said that I am four years old. So that was very shocking for him that your age is 50 years or something, but you are telling me that you are four years old. So how it is? So it means he, he told that I got uh, my aim of life. I got uh, my inner self satisfied before four years. I I thought that, I think that before four years, I know how my God created me. Why God sent me to fulfill my purpose? What is the purpose? Why I sent in this world? So every day, every person, this world is unique. Mm. Oh, your thumb impression is unique. Your body language is unique. Your eyes are unique. Everything is unique. It means your purpose is also unique. God has sent you for a unique purpose. So no other person has that same purpose. So you know your, you need to know your purpose. Why God has sent you in this world. So if you uh, know that purpose, then you can work for to satisfy that purpose. Amazing, great. So as the name is, and I, I, I'm just feeling myself a lot of passionate. And <laughs> I, I, I like to say like passion, consultancy, and it's uh, energy comes yeah, from the inside. You. So uh, as uh, you can, the viewers, uh, you can absolutely, uh, and the audience here, uh, they are also feeling a bit uh, passion. Yeah. And we, we, give, uh, we, we would like to uh, stay them more energetic and yeah. connectivity. So, that's why, uh, guys, uh, we are trying, trying our level best to connect you with more and more energetic persons like Professor Sandeep. Uh, and uh, he is an amazing and successful person. And you must have to, uh, you must have to get benefit from his story. Uh, so, sir, now this is the time for the message. What yeah. kind of message you would like to give the youth and to the whole world? Yeah, to the youth, I must uh, tell them that uh, as soon as they are here in this world, they should know their purpose, they should uh, analyze about their qualities. Uh, most of the person know what the weaknesses they have. And also uh, our family, our friends uh, tells us about our weaknesses. No person tells us about their, about our, what, what uh, benefits we have, what qualities we have. So the, you should know that if you have a lot of weaknesses, you have a lot of qualities. So you know your qualities, what are your strong areas, you should work on them, you should go to workshops, you should attend the seminars, you should go to the mentors, you should improve them. 
go through your whatever qualities you have, whatever weaknesses you have, you should uh, uh, try to overcome that. So you can present be, uh, better situation to the uh, prospective employer and you can get a green job if you are doing your own business. You can uh, apply your qualities and you can uh, improve your business. So I, this message is for the youth and to the overall public, uh, I want to uh, give them a message that uh, to know your passion. What is your passion? Why you sat here? Why God has created you? You know your purpose. Everything, every person is there. They are performing their duties. Uh, they are living their life. But some of them have names after their death. We know a lot of person who are name is there and their churches are there, even they are not there. So you should do something extra that people will remember you not in this world, but after you are gone away, you are passed away, then also people will uh, remember you uh, due to your service. So the audience, please, please, please give a big hand to Professor <laughs> Uh Thank you so much, sir. Most it's welcome. really uh, a great honor. I can't speak word. How can I thank you? Because it, all the uh, session which you have done, all the things which you uh, shared with us, it's really uh, a very, very learning thing. So uh, I hope that uh, the listeners, the viewers around the globe, they must have something of today's talk of Professor Sunni. Uh, and it's uh, as uh, before going, uh, what would you like to say about uh, Corona situation? Uh, in all over the world, it is. Yeah, it is and and we, we, we would not have to go to the uh, things which already everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. So, sh how shortly mm -hmm. you can say something about coronavirus and how humans and peace and everything, uh, as you know, social distance has come. Yeah. While there was a thing, together we grow. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's happening. So, how, how do you think? Coronavirus, the world, the peace, mm -hmm. and the social gap. Yeah, and uh, Alhamdulillah, I, am, uh, uh, I want to say that yeah, as Muslim, the teaching of Islam, if you uh, uh, practicing on them, you, uh, I think there is chances, a uh, lot of chances that you will not hit by the coronavirus. So coronavirus is not, uh, leads not to the panic. And the real problem is that we don't uh, know about the thing, but a lot of persons from us, they feel panic. They are they are very uh, they are very much have problem that they don't understand the thing. So first of all, we need to understand the thing. Whatever is told by us by the government by the social media, we should act upon them. If we act upon them, we go on isolation. We keep the social uh, difference between our uh, family between our friends. So it is beneficial for us. If uh, in these countries they have not uh, making it too much uh, uh, stress, they are affected by the uh, coronavirus. So in this current situation, you should not be, uh, you should not uh, be panic on the uh, uh, news of death because the death rate is only two percent. The ninety-eight percent will survive, but the situation is they that to first go in the in their disease, that who are hit by the disease. The, the, if you uh, do the precautions and whatever is uh, told by you, uh, you should act upon that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I, I wish uh, I would like to wish you all, please stay safe and please obey the orders of the government and uh, try to understand the sensitivity of this coronavirus and uh, wish you all a very, very healthy and peaceful life all over there. Stay safe, stay healthy, and hope to see you soon all in the another society. Till that time, uh, we would like to say you all uh, thanks and bye. Say bye in your own words. Okay, bye. <laughs> and Thank you very much. Bye bye from uh, our side uh, and startup chapter of Mukara. And it's time to sign off and say you all bye bye. Take care.